Okay, Daniel, Angeline, Tanvi, and Aditya. Do you all hear me properly? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Aditya, your mic, Aditya, your mic is not set up. I mean, uh, it's, I think you'll have to leave and join because uh, I'm not seeing your mic. Aditya, you are, I mean, am I audible to you? Yes, sir. All right, okay. Okay, so uh, today, I am going to introduce a system which uh, all of you must be aware of. And this system is like, like a God's eye and it is called as the credit rating system. Well, let me first of all explain what is credit rating system. I'm going to show the Excel sheet by sharing the screen, but I would have to explain what it is first of all. It is not like the progress card that you have school, no. It's definitely not like that. It is not like any monitoring system, but it is definitely one thing. That is, it monitors your complete feature, your attitude, your character, your personality, how good you are in academics. Now, let me show you a 15 list of characteristics. I'm going to share the screen so that you will have a better idea. Now, now just look into these 15 parameters, okay? So every single person is going to be assessed in these 15 parameters. Let's go one by one. Number one is your attendance. Number two, Leadership meter, number three, progress maintenance, number four, positive body language, number five, positive mindset, number six, reading books, number seven, self-development habits, number eight, mind exercises, consistency, number nine, anti-phone day. I'll explain each one by one. Number 10, presentation skills, number 11, Humanity meter, number 12, knowledge and wisdom meter, number 13, prioritizing ability, number 14, plan and implementation of plan, and the last one, physical agility. Each student is going to be assessed upon these 15 characters. You'll be given marks for attendance. First, let's say, for example, if you're skipping a class, and you have scored certain mark in attendance till that particular week. Each one has got a separate attendance uh, uh, metric. Like for example, Daniel and Evangeline are attending one day per week, Saturday alone. Achit Venkat attends one day per week, Sunday alone. While Aditya and Thanvi are attending two days a week, Saturday and Sunday. So they will have to stick up to the attendance. Like, if Angeline and Daniel <clears throat> are attending all the Saturdays on a month, then full attendance mark will be given. For Achyut, if he attends all Sunday classes, full attendance mark will be given because they have opted for only one class. But while Aditya or Tanvi, if they miss a Saturday class or if they miss a Sunday class, full attendance mark will not be given. Not only that, a penalty will also be given. If Aditya and Tanvi are attending all the Saturdays and all the Sundays in the entire month, full attendance mark will be given. Bonus mark will also be given. Okay. Like, for example, today, for instance, Tanvi was about to skip the class because she had her annual day function in her school and she has attended, she has joined the class immediately after the annual day function. If Tanvi was absent today, this could have been considered as her class and she would have marked. She would have been marked absent and she would have been given a penalty. But smartly, she has attended the class. So that's the first parameter, attendance. Second one, leadership meter. When are you going to get marked in leadership meter? When you make very good presentations. 
when you show a very good improvement, when I'm giving a team activity, the way you speak to your classmates, uh, the way you appreciate the other person for doing a good presentation, like Aditya appreciates Angel for her good presentation, or Tanvi attends, I mean, appreciates Daniel for his good presentation immediately. Immediately, there will be a mark marked in these two people's column in leadership because they showed a very good leadership skill by appreciating the other person because that is also a leadership trait. Third one is progress maintenance. I have appreciated Danny for a certain level of presentation he has made. And in the forthcoming week in his presentation, if there was an improvement, well, he will be given some mark because there is a progress and he's maintaining the progress. Evangeline has been saying after the presentation, I mean, before the presentation, see, she keeps on saying, like, sir, I need a little bit more time. And I am giving extra time also. But Evangeline automatically shows, <clears throat> excuse me, shows some improvement, stating that, okay, I'm willing to make the presentation first. So that's a very good progress in Evangeline's character, right? So she gets a mark at that point of time. The progress maintenance means you get marked each time when you give, when you show a very good progress. Positive body language. From this class onwards, whatever the presentation is done, you have to turn your video on. Like the trainer is keeping the video always on, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to keep the video on all the time. But during presentation and during learning discussion, your videos are supposed to be on. Because with the video off, you might be lying down, you might be having your hands like this, you might be having a relaxed position. It's a, yes, it's an activity-based, fun-based class, I agree, but the discipline has to be the same. Even when you're doing a presentation, I will know how good you are in body language. Like I have never seen Tanvi uh, making a video presentation, but at the same time, I have seen how Daniel will look when he makes a presentation. I have seen how Angel will look when she makes a presentation. Aditya, besides being my nephew, I haven't seen him uh, making a presentation. But in 2019, 2020, uh, even in 2021, when Aditya used to visit us, he used to attend the evening class outside and in the classroom upstairs. And I've seen his presentation. But he was two years or three years younger than what he used to do. So I'm not aware of the progress. So the video has to be on hereafter during the presentation. Well, this case is not going to be applicable for a child because uh, he's a grown-up kid and I cannot insist. But for you three, <clears throat> you four, it is applicable. So for that, you'll be given positive body language. Your body language is your body. The fifth one is my personal favorite, the positive mindset. How confident you are. How confident you sound. How much confident and how much esteemed you take a particular task. I give a presentation to Aditya. He immediately picks up some slides and he puts on the slide. I didn't even ask him to prepare a slide, but he has prepared a slide. He will get marked for positive mindset. Because the student was very positive that he can do very well with positive, I mean, with, with that PowerPoint slide. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is after explaining these 15 things, we are going to have our CRS alive. Each of you is going to be awarded mark live for all the sessions that you have attended. Okay. So in PM column, positive mindset, Angeline might get a good mark because I remember something that she did very well here when she attended the class here in this hall. Tanvi might be given a mark because when Achit presented last week, she appreciated Achit's presentation. I really liked it. So I might be giving mark for positive mindset for Tanvi. Whereas Aditya might not get in the positive mindset. Aditya might get in leadership meter, while Tanvi might not get in leadership meter. Danny might get in progress maintenance, whereas Evangeline might not get. Likewise, there will be imbalance. But don't worry, but don't worry. Hereafter, after knowing this, you can correct all your mistakes. So positive mindset. Books reading. The ability to read books. Your interest towards reading books. Instead of exposing your eyes on six inches phone screen or 10 inches tablet, 
or 15 inches laptop. If you are reading books with a physical form, you'll be given more mark in CRS, in the credit rating system. So today is Saturday. I read a book on Tuesday, sir. You'll get marked. Angelin comes and says, last Monday, I had to read a book and I spent at least one hour reading the book. You'll get marked. You update, be true to yourself, get the mark, simple. But sir, I read book every day because every week we will update CRS, okay? So sir, I, I read book every day, at least five or six times I, I, I read book every day. If you say that, you're going to give in marks for that as well. <clears throat> Self-development habits. At what time you wake up, at what time you sleep, and uh, how good you are behaving with your sibling, how good you are behaving with your classmate. Uh, are you showing good respect to your parents? Are you showing good respect to the teacher here? You're addressing the teacher as sir properly. You are uh, addressing uh, your classmate with his or her name properly. Are you using the salutation properly? All these tiny little things will be monitored in the seventh column, that is self-development habits. This is also a self-development, like I will be interacting with your parents in this regard. I might be calling Aditya's dad and ask him, is he speaking with respect? Obviously parents will be very honest and they would say, yeah, he's better, he's improving. No, Manigandan, I'm not seeing any improvement in respect then there will be a minus or a penalty in Aditya's column. I will be calling Kingsley and uh, I might be asking Kings, is Daniel properly treating his sister? Is Angeline properly giving respect to Danny? No, Ilana, um, there is a little bit of lapse in the respect. Then Angeline and Daniel both will get penalty. I will be calling Lakshmi, Tanvi's mom, and I will ask, is Tanvi very respectful to her elder brother? Is she respectful to you? Is she respectful to her dad, to the teacher? If Lakshmi says, no, sir, I'm not seeing any improvement, then Tanvi get a minus. But if Lakshmi says, yes, sir, that is a very good improvement in Tanvi, and I should thank you for that. She gets a bonus, and she gets marked in this SDH also. Mind exercises consistency. Like I give a meditation practice, I give a therapy, psychological therapy practice, and you do that at least four times a week, you'll get a good bonus. I ask you to do six times in a week, but you do four times, no problem. It's good. Four out of six days is a real good metric. But you skip two days, and you were able to do only three, three days. Well, okay, fine. But sir, I did only two days. The other three days I missed you will get penalty. Penalty is very painful in the CRS. If you're taking CRS very seriously, I think you will really improve a lot in your life. But I don't care about CRS. Okay, you want to take minus? Fine, go for it. Penalty? Yeah, I know, you are going to give that. Go for it. But if you show that attitude towards CRS, then your name will be removed. And you might be removed from the class as well. Because when you are not very serious towards my system, then I don't think you are giving me encouragement. You are actually disappointed. But in MS Evening Sessions history, out of the 120 plus people came and got out of the, uh, uh, the sessions as graduates, nobody disrespected CRS. Right. Okay. Ninth one, anti, anti phone day. Like if you're reducing your phone usage, well, again, I'll have to talk to the parents with regard to this. If you're not using phone too much, then there will be a huge, huge level of uh, improvement in your CRS. Tenth one is very obvious. I need not explain things to you. Presentation skills, the way you start. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my dear friends. Thank you for joining in the presentation today. Today, I'm going to make the presentation on this. A very good start and properly continuing and uh, towards the conclusion, thank you, my dear friends. Thank you, sir, for listening to the presentation. I hope you had a good time. And if you have got any questions, please ask me. I'm willing to answer. If you finish with this kind of a note, 
all these will be considered under the 10th column, that is presentation skills. Anyhow, you are going to speak in every class. So immediately, immediately the presentation skills mark will be given to you. Uh, this is very, very sensitive and it's equally important just like the others. Humanity meter. Your, your humanity, like let's say for example, if Danny is sharing the screen and uh, he is not able to uh, share the screen, unfortunately, Aditya was not able to see that. Aditya can tell Danny, well, uh, Danny, I did not get your stream properly, but to your presentation, I was able to listen to that. No problem. Even if uh, I'm not able to see that, no problem. It's okay. So here, what happens? Danny is feeling a little easy. Okay? He's under stress. Oh my God, Aditya is not able to see my screen and my device is at the, the, the complete fault. So I have to do something. So this stress is reduced by Aditya. And there, Aditya will get a good mark. You should not do all this having marks in mind. If you do this having marks in mind, oh, if I do this, I might be getting, oh, if, 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 if I do this, I might be getting in that column. If you're doing that way, I'm a psychologist. I'd be able to find out. It has to be natural. But don't worry, you'll be given mark. Only if the trainer feels it's natural. If I feel that as an artificial thing, I will not be giving mark. Okay? It has to come from within. It has to resonate from within. And if it comes, I will, I will immediately let you know. Okay, Aditya, Danny, Evangeline, or Tanvi, for this specific reason, you get mark for this. I would tell you, not even a single mark will get into your CRS without your notice. And not even a single penalty will be charged into your CRS without your notice. Everything will be informed to you prior. Knowledge and wisdom meter. When you're doing a presentation, if the trainer feels that you have collected a lot of data and you have really put a lot of struggle in terms of collecting information, and if the trainer feels that, well, you have gathered very good knowledge and you have gathered good information on this topic, then you will get marked in this KWM criteria, knowledge, wisdom, meta. Because you have worked hard for getting more knowledge, right? So for that. Prioritizing ability. Ah, this should be changed because this is more of a senior level. I uh, had this for, I'm changing this into academic performance. Again, this is another criteria in which I'll have to talk to your parents. How are you doing in your academics? Are you balancing MS evening sessions and academics properly? Are you finishing your homework properly? Are you preparing yourself for your class tests, slip tests, and common monthly or weekly tests or whatever properly? Are you not giving any headache to your parents in terms of academics? If you do that, if you are good in academic performance, well, you'll get good marks in this. Plan implementation. I'm really sorry, sir. I forgot totally that today's I have class. I'm really sorry, sir. I was not able to adjust my time. You told me to prepare a presentation, but I'm really sorry. I did not. I was not able to do it because of too much of academic work. These non-compliance will give a big penalty. But if you say, sir, you wanted me to do a presentation. Yes, I did have some homework, but I have collected some information. Maybe not to the fullest extent, but to some extent, I have created a presentation I would like to show. Then you are very good in plan. We'll be given some mark for that. So plan and implementation is how better you are managing your time, managing your uh, uh, work, managing your tasks, managing your uh, workload and all that. That's the 14th one. Physical agility. <clears throat> if you exercise, you'll get marked. If you take care of your fitness, you'll get marked. If you take care of your physical epitome and acumen, you'll get marked. For example, if doctor has advised you to go for some physiotherapy class, or if doctor has advised you to do some physiotherapy exercise in order to correct some of your limbs, or some of your, let's say, for example, um, preteens will always be advised to 
do some exercises for erecting their shoulders, erecting their this particular upper frame, torso frame, we call physiologically. If Daniel has been advised by a doctor to do 10 push ups every day in order to keep his bone erect, if Danny does it, he will get a good mark in physical health. If Tanvi is going for a walk every day, 20 minutes, she will get good mark. If Tanvi is administering the yoga practice that is taught at the school, she will get good marks. If Angeline is doing one particular asana in yoga that was taught in the school, she will get good mark for that. Aditya, irrespective of the workload, if she goes down in his apartment and if he plays sometime and uh, if, he, if he starts working out and if he does the stretching exercises that has been advised to him and uh, if he starts doing the pull-up that has been advised to him, he will get good mark. That's physical agility and ability and physical fitness. Now, welcome to the CRS column. This is it. As you can read this properly, here it is. MS Evening Sessions, Credit Rating System 1.0, Lifestyle Grades, Weekly Updates Report. First updation is going to be today, February 4th, 2023. Commencing today, February 4th, 2023. As per the age, Achyut Venkat, well, Mitra, seasonal attendance. She is not going to be a regular person. Aditya Dinagaran, Daniel Shiloh, Tanvi MB, LB, and Evangeline Kingsley. So, against each name, ATT, attendance, all the criteria that we had seen. Look at that attendance, leadership, positive body language, positive mindset, book reading, self development, mind exercises, anti phone day, presentation skills, humanity meter, knowledge meter, prioritizing ability. Plan implementation, prioritizing ability has been changed as ACM, that is academic performance, plan implementation, physical agility. Now, this one is very interesting, boys and girls. Trainer's bonus. Apart from all this, trainer's bonus will be given. And this one is the penalty. Failing in any non compliance, you will be given some penalty. So, total. And grand total, deducting the penalty, if any, will be marked here. Penalty will always be in red color like this. Okay, let me show you some of the previous CRS. Well, this is CRS number three. Uh, let me show you some vast CRS. CRS number two, 2.0. Huh, yeah. This could explain properly. There were 13 people. There were 13 people like Mitra, Kalpita Sri. Mitra was in the eighth grade, ninth grade when she was in this. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, MS evening sessions, credit rating system from June 2nd to September 3rd week, out of 800 marks. Yeah, out of 800 marks. Mitra, Kalpita Shri, Uday, Uday Shri Kitna, Vishnu Priya, Mildu Bhashni, Sanjay Baskar, Dakshin Sudha, Vidhita Nitesh. Yeah, there were 13 participants, like attendance, events, performance, and all that. Now look at this. Yeah, if you have penalty, the penalty will be shown like this. One second, I will have to stop the screen share and I'll have to reopen the new one. Yes. Huh. Now what you're seeing is the new, uh, the CRS that we had in 2021. Yeah, as you could see here, MS Evening Session Credit Rating System 2.0, from June 2nd to September 3rd week of 2021. Update number three, June 20th, 2021. And you had all these members, 
Mitra, Kalpita, and all these people. Out of this, this Mohit, Mohit was like Achyut, he was from the US. Ah, so if you have some penalty, the penalty will be shown like this. If you could see, is there are some people got penalty. Like uh, Ritar Nitesh, Guru Prasanna, Sibi Aditan, all these people were having. Sibi Aditan was the continuous penalty earner. You see, finishing also, he had his penalty. And out of 800 marks, he scored uh, about 719 or 771. And then One second, give me a moment, please. And then we finished that CRS and we had the CRS award given to the people. And I would like to show you the award screen here. After scoring 800 marks, each student was uh, given certain marks and they were into this award criteria. The evaluation report for CRS 2.0. Yeah, this was Mitra's CRS score. Award status. So after showing all these scores, this is the main score, see? CRS main score obtained, 800. Mitra had scored 80, I mean, Mitra had scored 818. Kalpita had scored 808. Dakshin Siddharth had scored 803. Likewise, we came one by one, one by one. And then after showing this presentation, we came to this winner list. And I would like to show you the winner list. Yeah. We have only 10 minutes in this. The main award was for 1,200 rupees, Indian Nitrate. First consolation award, 1,000 rupees, Indian Nitrate. And second consolation award, 800 rupees Indian net rate. So Bitra earned 1,200 as her award. Kalpita earned the main award 1,200. Dakshin Siddharth earned the main award 1,200. First consolation award was earned by another girl called as Brinda, 1,100. First consolation, 1,000, another guy. And the rest of the people, second consolation, 800. 600, 600, 500, likewise. Sibi Aditan, 500. So likewise, you will also be earning. That's how it is. Tanvi, your video is on. You can switch off the video. <clears throat> okay. Now, do you have any questions, boys and girls, about CRS? Shall we start proceeding giving marks for the CRS? Okay, sir. All right. We will start with the first ever attendee in this session, uh, the two members, Danny Shiloh and Evangeline Kingsley. We'll start with attendance. Danny and Evangel were attending the class uh, here in the last week of December, along with Mitra. And uh, Tanvi was in the online format. Mitra, Angel, Danny were here in this hall attending. So I'm taking all that into consideration. So we'll first off finish up with Danny. Attendance, well, 
there was one class skipped because of various things. So for both, I mean, I'll start with Danny. So for attendance, so far, whatever he had done, we shall make it as five marks. Leadership, as far as Danny is concerned. When he was making presentation about uh, Lionel Messi, and when he was making presentation about uh, his favorite sport, soccer, it was really good in the presentation. And uh, if you could see, Danny always carries a smile when he is uh, making a presentation. That everlasting smile is biggest uh, key and his biggest advantage. And he never shows his nervousness outside. For that, Danny will be given three marks. Progress maintained as far as Danny is concerned. If you ask me if Danny has showed a good level of improvement each time, <laughs> each time in the progress, I would say yes, there has been a very good progress. But with the given fact that he has always been making the presentation on a very simple format, well, that's where the mark got a little less. So three months. Positive body language. Well, I have seen Daniel making presentation live here. He has a very good body language and uh, his open hand gesture will be good. But most of the time he used to read what is written in the notebook. Otherwise, his positive body language would improve a lot. So for that, he has a scope of improvement. So we shall give you about three. Positive mindset, as far as Danny is concerned. Well, he never says, no, I cannot. Please leave me alone. He says, okay, I will try. And he tries his best. So for that also, about three marks will be given. Books reading is a very good uh, book reading habit holder. And he has been sharing that with me as well. He always reads a lot of books and his communication and accent are wonderful. So five marks for that. Self-development. Well, you know, he tries to encourage his sister and he tries to appreciate his sister. And he's a very good listener as well. So on that self-development, three marks can be given. I haven't given any mind exercises to Danny or Evangeline either. So we shall skip. And Typhoon Day. Now, as much as what I have spoken to Kingsley Kumar, Danny's father, he's not a very frequent phone user. Angel, you have any complaints on this? Is he using the phone very frequently? Please play video. Sorry, he's using frequently. He's always playing video games. <laughs> okay, it's a vital information. So unfortunately, you get very less market for that. All right. Sorry, Danny. One mark. Presentation skills. Well, he is uh, really good in presentation skills, except the fact that he makes only short presentations. Four marks. Humanity meter, well, it's too early to give marks in humanity meter for Danny because uh, only less number of classes. Knowledge meter, we shall give about three. He speaks about good knowledge and when, when, when somebody makes any mistakes in presentation, even when Mitra makes mistakes, he tries to correct it. So three marks. Well, academics, Danny, you have to open up on this. Are you really being complained by the parents about your academics? Are you really doing good in academics? Now that the school has been started, remember when you attended, it was December and it was uh, vacation time, and you were in, you were here in your hometown, and now you are in Nagar Koil attending your school. So, how is your academic performance? I mean, for PT exams out of forty, I usually get twenty five and above. Okay. For half belly, I mostly get above fifty. Well, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. But there is a lot of a scope of improvement. We'll speak about that. Four months. But I mostly struggle on Tamar. Tamar. Understandable. Very much understandable. Plan implementation. Well, is good into that. Maybe we can give less mark, but it's two or two marks. Physical agility. He plays real good soccer. And I have seen him play. So for that, three. Do you do exercises? Any form of exercises? Uh, not really. Right. So three months for that. Well, as a trainer, I would like to give a bonus of about 
five months. So <clears throat> we'll see how much Jan is total a little later. Now, okay, we have an important thing to be addressed. The Zoom window is going to be closed. And now we will continue. After this, we are coming to Thanvi uh, and we'll have to see how much Thanvi has to be, has, is a scoring and then we will move on to Aditya Dinagaran and Thanvi Elda Evangelin. But before that, you will have to wait four minutes. Now, previously Zoom used to complete in 40 minutes and immediately if I open a new window, it opens. But now these people are really smart and they are giving a break of four minutes. And I would like to consider that as a fortune because you have a very good four minutes break. You can go, you can take your resources or you can have a sip of water or you can have a quick fresh juice or something and come back in four minutes. So please understand when I close from that second, calculate four minutes and then a new window will be open. And we will have our second and final session. That is CRS updation session in that window. So I'm closing this window. All right. See you soon in four minutes in the new window for our further CRS updation. Thank you.